you flew out on me. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today I will be doing a wrap up of all the things I've done in fall because it's December right now, obviously, you can see behind me. So let's get started because there's a lot of books to go through. The first book I will be revealing is I don't actually have, <laughs> but I read it. It's called The Last Kids on Earth and the Midnight Blade. Here's a picture of it right there. And I liked it. It's probably my favorite book out of the five. The blade is an important thing in the book, like the Lewis Philosizer blade. It has a lot of monster and a lot of adventure still, like the other Last Kids on Earth. Still pretty funny and really cool of how Jack tries to figure out a lot of things with his friends. Next book, or should I say books, the Monster Street Carnival and the Monster Street for the Halloweeners. So here are the books. I read them and I already did a review on them. You guys already know, and if you haven't seen it, then check out right there. You will be able to check it out. So yeah, next book is City of Ghosts. This book was supposed to be a Halloween read. I finished it. I just have a bookmark in the middle because my mom was reading it. She was interested in the book too. And I already finished it. It's not really that scary, but it has like some ghosts and it's really cool to see this girl go into ghost world. So he, she basically goes into a, a ghost world after she drowned, but technically she's still alive because a ghost saved her. From that point on, she could see ghosts and go into the fully ghost world or go into the fully people world. But she has a friend that's a ghost. He was able to come out of the ghost world to the people world. And she also finds another girl that she finds weird and she thinks that she has the same power as her. And her parents are hosting a TV show about finding ghosts. And so they will, they go to Scotland to um, explore the ghost cities. While over there, there's a lot of myths and mythical stuff. There's a lot of Harry Potter references too, which I like. And there's a lot of myths and mythical stuff. So, not stuff, but mythical like stories. And one of them actually becomes a problem for her. And she tries to figure it out. Uh, I rate this one a five out of five. Like always, <laughs> can't wait to read the sequel to it. And yes, there's a sequel. I can't find it though. I think they go to Paris actually instead of Scotland this time. This is a sequel right here. This book, this book right here. It's called the Ghost. No, not the Ghost. It's called the Tunnel of Bones. Next is Swamp Kid, which I already did a full video on, so you can check out right there. And Swamp Kid is basically a, like a Darwin Kid, but with DC character instead, which his name is Swamp Kid, as you can see. Russell, Russell Wenwright. That's his real name. But there's Qualum Swamp Kid. It's a Darwin Kid, but with a DC character. So the next one is another DC Zoom Kids book, and you might be wondering, where's the book? Well, this is the same thing as Last Kids on Earth, number five except with Black Canary, which is a picture right here. So Black Canary is about a girl who likes birds and likes to sing in the rock band. And she also has fellow cla not classmates, but friends that go in the rock band, then finds out that she has powers with her voice. She has to go to school <clears throat> and finds out that she, her mom also has the same powers and finds the like the story of her mom used to be, she used to be Black Canary. Then her, the daughter, the main character, has to go through a bunch of training. And then at the end, tries to fight the super villain that her mom couldn't defeat. I give it a five out of five, I like it. And I like all the action. Same thing with the Swamp Kid, it has a lot of action. And yes, I just like DC. If you're a superhero fan and you're looking for something to read, check out, definitely check out the, these graphic novels. Next is another graphic novel, kind of, sort of, <laughs> called The Eddie Files. 
Attack of the Kraken. So I have it, this is my first time reading Ellie Files and if you read the other ones, then, and leave a comment, maybe, I don't know. And so this is my first one. I got this and the um, C, under the C, I'll create Junior Box and if you don't know what that is, oh, great. I got this from the Alcrate Junior Box, and if you don't know what that is, definitely check out my Instagram. If you don't know what Alcrate is, it's a it's a monthly subscription box that they send you every month. Like I said, monthly. It's always on a specific theme. Like this month, it's gonna be Frost and Ice. And so the book is related to that theme, and they also have little like cool gadgets that come with it that are fit to the theme and maybe from the book. It comes with games and bookmarks and other cool stuff like that related to books. So check, definitely check it out. And they sometimes have little cool books that come with it, like Yeti Files. So Yeti Files is a little comic that's about like mythical creatures, I guess. So like Yeti, they have a ghoul, and then I think they have an elf friend. Yeah, an elf friend. And then in this one, they have mermaids and a kraken. Basically, it's a yeti, and he goes under uh, underwater and finds out that there's this kraken that's attacking people, and the mayor wants it to help, so he helps. So they have Emily Earhart in here, and supposedly she just lost when she wanted to go. She was in the little mermaid village, and she wanted to go find the kraken, and so they never saw her again. And, and her name is not Emily Earhart, it's Emily Airwalker. As you can see, Emily's right there. And she's in it, and they find her. Then they find out that maybe the Kraken is not really that bad, and maybe it's the mayor. So yeah, definitely check out this little graphic novel. It was a short, fun read. I rated it a five out of five, and it's a really fun, cool read. Wrecking Ball! I've been waiting so long for this book, and I like it. I like how it shows like a little like wrecking, like little thumb, thumb nail nails, little nails. And it's about Greg moving because they inherit money from their passed away grandma. And they inherit and they're trying to figure out what to do with it. And they just can't. And then they try to build a house. So then they try to make it. And just a bunch of problems happen. There's small little good parts, but I liked it. I rated it a five out of five. And I hope that they make another book for the series. Next book, COG, Native Development. Oh yeah, this is what came with the book, the owl crate with it. So COG and Ada and Proto and Chasprot and Car have to go on an adventure. COG is basically short for Cognitive Development. And if you don't know what that means, that means the way you learn and what you learn. And he's a robot. And he also has a pet, Proto, and Trash Rock. This guy, this author, specifically this author, I met him in real life. And he actually, hey, and he actually signed my Voyage of the Dogs book. He actually read a little part of this to me at the book signing where he was. He actually read a little bit of this before it came out, actually. I got to remember a little bit. Sorry if I'm looking down. It's just my pet is right below me. So I don't want to mess with her with my furry feet. Those slippers. But anyway, COG is about cognitive development robot, which I already explained and he living, then just a bunch of events happening with him and he robot. It's, it's kind of cool seeing a robot going through all these scenarios or robots going all these, through these scenarios and trying to think. It's really funny too. So it's like them getting used to our earth and stuff that we do. So like in one of the parts he says, so basically there's a couch, there's a table and there's a TV. And when you watch TV, that is considered living. It's living room. <laughs> but <laughs> very funny. So yes, I rated it a five out of five. Oh, and they're also, they're going through all these events to find Gina, Cog's lost crater, their crater. Next book, The Odd Ones Out. So Odd Ones Out, very funny guy. And he also made a book 
and I like it. It's called How to Be Cool and Other Things I Definitely Learned from Growing Up. Very cool book made by this by James Allison. He's an animator YouTuber. He makes a bunch of stuff and it's really funny. And it's about stuff that growing up. His YouTuber, his YouTube is about him growing up and stuff. He's actually making the second one. And it's funny because it's called the first sequel. <laughs> so I rated this a five out of five. So this is everything I read this fall. Comment if you've read any of these books and also what you're currently reading right now. I am reading Brave Wilderness by Coyote Peterson. Very cool book. It's about animals and him like capturing them, but not actually capturing, just showing them to the camera and then releasing back into the wild very safely. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.